Oh shit. That wind is going. Hey Suki. What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Hey, Nikki girl, come on in. <laughs> come on. Man. Hey, church lady. What's going on, the church lady? James just gave an epic read. Epic read. First boss lady. <laughs> that was that you said she didn't know I came. <laughs> boss lady, they got on that butt. Y'all, and then, okay, come on, now this, now this, let me see if I can put this down, because it's up too high, so that's a little better, yeah, I think that's a little better, y'all, hey, Natasha, what's going on, lady, y'all, come on, I was just sitting, look, let me, I'm going to show y'all what I was doing, I went and had my therapy and stuff today, and I'm doing t-shirts, I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting up here getting, I'm doing getting t-shirts done. And I come on here. Y'all, I've been crying all day. <laughs> and you the clip of this video I was watching. Oh, my goodness. I'm mm, back to you, Natasha. So, so bomb. Hey, so, so the bomb has been let. Look, then I, I told y'all to watch the microwaves. The real entrepreneur, Suki. I'm telling you, yes, yes, I'm here right now getting my pictures and stuff together and sitting here finna make some sh some shirts. <laughs> I ain't playing. I'm not, look, I'm, they put me off work. My doctor put me off work for another week, another whole week. So that's two weeks of checks I'm not getting paid for. I got to bring some money in the house. I got to bring some money in the house. So I'm sitting here. See these cute little tanks? Let me just, let me, let me, let me show them. Show you guys. Thanks to Kiki. Kiki sent us these cute little, honey, y'all going to see Kiki girl. You about to see some, some um writing and stuff on here, honey. I'm going to use the printer. And every, and if y'all want y'all a, a cute little tank, ladies. Oh, I'm going to let y'all see when I get done. Miss Gina, you read yesterday that. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Look, uh, I get in my feelings. I, like I said, at least I give warning. Hey, Designs by V. Hi, Miss Gina. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I was, look, they had me on the floor. They had me doing neck stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, I couldn't even do it. Cece couldn't uh, fit the tank. Yeah, she, um, some of them, actually, she wants me. I'm putting her picture on them. We, I, how many did we sell? We sold eight. We sold eight of the t-shirts with her pictures on it. So now I'm doing some more stuff. And honey, Cece been bringing the customers in. So that's why she left them here. So I'm I'm looking for some pictures and some other stuff now. Here, hey, the hood table. Hey, Nick Boss. Y'all, did you, did you see, did y'all catch Boss Lady's video? Did you catch both? Come on, thumbs up this video. Wait a minute. Did you all catch Deanna's video this morning? <laughs> Deanna Abby, I love Deanna's voice. I can, let me tell you something. I can listen to Deanna talk all day. She is just one, she's one of them people that have that unique voice. You know how certain people have that unique voice and you just know them by their voice. You don't have to see their picture or anything. You know them by their voice. That's Deanna. You caught Deanna's video this morning? Oh, look, me and Angel was in the parking lot of the doctor's office and we saw, hey, babe, y'all home? Where your brother? Outside. You left him. No, he lives right outside. He getting the mail? Oh, okay. Your homework? Mm -hmm. All right, do your homework. Love you. Love you too. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Fairy do it all the time. Uh, yes, honey. Deanna had me rolling this morning. We were because we were super early. We were like an hour early at the um at the doctor's office. Thank you, baby. I knew you was getting the mail. How was your day at school? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm good too. You had that look like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Let me ask a second time. Um, yeah, Angel's saying after school because she's practicing for a game. Yeah, she told me. I told her that we had, um, went to therapy. Okay. And then I took her to school. So I know I'm going to have to go pick her up. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh -oh. You have it. <laughs> 
Thank you, baby. You've been making me just feel so good for the past few days, giving me all this attention. I don't know how to act. Hmm. You've been giving me this attention. I still got you tomorrow. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. okay? All right. I love you, babe. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Y'all know my kids, my babies is coming in from school. They coming in from school. Yes, Miss Virgo, it, that's that Southern twang. I, look, I can listen to Deanna's voice like all day long. Oh, I just love your kids, even though I have never met them in person. <laughs> Thank you, the hood table. Thank you. Look, now you see why I get so sensitive. Do y'all now? Do you see? Do you see why I get so sensitive? Sensitive about my children, cause they just are the best. They are the most awesome kids ever, and they respectful no matter what. And so, I get sensitive when you come for them for no apparent reason. Come for me, I could take that. Come for me, hey Tanya. Hey, the hood table. I love how your kids are with you. So amazing. Yes, we got some amazing mothers on here. Look, all of us is not ain't shit ass mothers like some <laughs> we see. Oh, I forgot it's 3 p.m. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. Well, 3 11. So the kids are coming home from school. Uh, hello, Miss Gina in Queendom. Thank you, Kiki Mock. Thank you so much, Cassandra Life Albuquerque. I love my two sons to life. Yes. Hey, what for one? Hey, Miss Gina, love. Love you. I love you. I love you too. I love all of you guys. Come on, get some more thumbs up. We got 71 people in the house. Y'all better come on and thumbs up. Now, y'all remember, do y'all remember the video? It's 411. Oh, it's for, oh, it's you ahead. You ahead of us, Natasha. My nephew, I adopted, be hugging all over me, and my kids be looking jealous, and I'd be like, hug me too. There you go. That's right, Suki. You tell them, look, if he giving you attention, instead of them being jealous, tell them, y'all come and give me some of that love too. I would rather have 10 kids who love me than one who hates me. You are a good, Miss Gina. Thank you, Miss Virgo. Thank you. Like I said. I might have a lot of babies or whatever, but the one thing can't nobody ever say is that I didn't take care of them. I took care of all of mine. And if anybody that knows me will tell you, Miss Gina had, them kids had backpacks on, each and every one of them. They had their own snacks. They had their own food. They had their own bottles, their own juice, their own milk, their own cookies. Everything went, honey, we would go to somebody's house and they would say, Oh, do your kids, do they want some chips or something? I'm like, no, nah, go get that backpack. Everything that they they needed, we they had. No one could ever say anything because I knew I was the one that always had the most children. And I never wanted anyone to say, we came to their house to eat. We came to their house to, to there you go, so, so bomb. We needed 50 cent, okay? We, no one never had to say that because I always had whatever my children needed. Look, I got up at five o'clock in the morning. You hear me? I would get up at 5 a.m. to put all the snacks in, to put everything they in. Look, I got, I got link. I got stamps. Ain't, I, ain't no shame. I got stamps. I got a boatload of stamps. Do you hear me? For all them babies. So it was no reason for my children to not have what they need. Thank you. Allergic to fake. Hey, Miss Gina, love you from the bushes. Mwah. I love you back, love. Thank you. It was no reason for my children not to have what they need. And I was getting a boatload of link for nine children. Count them. Nine. Okay. So everything they needed they had. When we would go to somebody, I'd be like, do your kids want some cookies? Girl, do, and look, I would even have gallons of water. I would have gallons of water in, juice in the trunk of my car, y'all. I would have, got. Yeah, thank you, love. I would have gallons of water and juice in the trunk of my car in case we ran out later, we would have, honey, my children loves them Vienna sausages. You know them little Vienna, honey, because we had Vienna sausages. We They never wanted for nothing. Nobody could ever say. we. They always had diapers. They always had uh, wipes. They are everything that my children needed, they had. Nobody could ever say 
ever say that my kids never was out here bogus. My kid, the school would even tell you, honey, when the kids would go on trips, honey, I was making lunch. I was making enough for them and their friends and everybody else. My children never went to school hungry. Never. You know why? how I knew when my children needed lunch money or different things? Because I was a part of the PTA. I was a part of the PTA. How you a mother and you got one child and you don't even know what's going on at their school. You have one child. You got one job, only one job. I had several. Come on, real soft town, soft side shot town. Happy Thursday. I bet you know you had to know where the resources were. Nikki, I knew where all the resources are. Gina, I could tell you're a good mother. I'm serious. Thank you, Natasha. I knew where all the resources are, and I'm still now. Why you think when they would laugh at me, do y'all not remember this? Just a few, a, a few months ago when I was standing in the apartment, do y'all remember when I would say, oh, shoot, I got to get up and go to the food pantry in the morning? And people would say, well, if you working, if you if she working, why she got to go to the food? Because food getting low, and I ain't no dummy. Food getting low, and I don't want my children come asking me what we going to eat. Mom, what we going to eat tomorrow? Mom, what we going to eat after tomorrow? See, a real mother, a real mother knows ahead of time when the food get low, when the juice get low, when the milk get low. That's right. You make it stretch, and when you can't stretch, you find out which places got what. That's what you do. That's what a real mother does. That's what a real mother does. We ain't, you don't you don't you don't play around. You don't play around. I ain't my kids ain't never ever 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 ever. Do you hear me when I say ever went hungry? Do y'all not remember? Do y'all not remember a couple of months ago? Remember when I was in the kitchen cooking and y'all said Miss Gina? Hey Rita, she y'all said Miss Gina, what you cooking for dinner? And remember I said surprise pot. That means whatever I get out of the cabinet, that's going to be a surprise to me, to you, to whoever, but it's going to be a meal. And when I got through with that meal, honey, do y'all remember my son and them was coming back asking for more? Thank you. Thank you. Allergic to fat. You say going to eat every day. That's how you do it. Come on now. Mama is the best mom ever. Thank you, Cassandra, baby. Y'all about to make me cry because I remember those times. Come on, Miss Virgo. You know I'm going to talk some realness over here. You know I'm going to talk some realness over here because a real mother is not going to be putting a box of mashed potatoes and some goddamn water in a goddamn pot and feeding it to her baby. And, 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 and you ain't got no real potatoes in there. You ain't got no real meat in there. You ain't got no real. Even if your ass don't eat, you supposed to make sure that them children eat right. You supposed to make sure that them children eat right. But they got the nerd, got the nerd to be talking about somebody else. Got the nerve to be sitting up there talking about somebody else's parenting skills and your child don't even eat a decent meal every day. Don't even eat. My child got to get a decent meal every day. Do you know what I did today when we went to um, Angel didn't go to school today? Because see, the boys, when I dropped the boys off, they have breakfast at school. Okay. This morning, when we went to the, um, the the therapist to go have our therapy, me and Angel, I took her to Dunkin' Donuts. I said, Angel, what do you want to eat? Angel got one of those, those bowls, one of those, you know, eggs and sausage bowls. She got an egg and sausage bowl. We got some hash browns. I got me a, 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 a what did I get me? A cheese sausage croissant. After that, we went and did our therapy, okay? We was in there for two hours getting our therapy done. After our therapy was done, I it was lunchtime. Angel says, Mommy, that's right, Nikki girl, breakfast on the go, but she got a full belly. And when we got out of therapy, my baby said, Mommy, it's my lunchtime. I said, it's your lunchtime? Oh, shit, what we gonna, what we gonna do? She said, I'll go to McDonald's. I said, you want McDonald's? I said, because I'll go shopping after. She said, yeah. Took my baby to McDonald's, got her some chicken nuggets, some fries, and she asked for a shake. Now, that's a full meal, okay? You ain't even get this baby a 
freaking full meal. She got some goddamn watered down potatoes and you uh, 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 not even potatoes, some watered down powder and you mixed it up and called it potatoes and got the nerve to bring up somebody else's parenting skill. At least go to McDonald's and get a happy meal. At least with the happy meal, you getting some vegetables, you getting some fruit, you getting something and got the nerve to be talking about somebody else. Come on now. Where we do that at? Where we do that at? And my baby knows when I go and get her and she come home, we going to have a full dinner here. Okay, a full dinner. And when it's nothing in that cabinet or when the cabinets are getting low, when the cabinets are getting low, did you hear what I said? Or when the freezer is getting low, I know how to get up off my ass and I'm going to find somebody food pantry somewhere. There's a food pantry everywhere. There is no reason why your child should not have some real potatoes because at the food pantry, they give you bags of potatoes, baby. The food pantry gives you bag of potatoes. You can make mashed potatoes, French fries, hash brown, what potato casserole. You can make whatever you want. And then they give you ground beef, chicken legs, chicken wings whatever that it is they're giving you some meat if you gotta even chop up bacon honey they'll give you bacon they'll give you a sausage but make that goddamn baby a full meal make them a feel if you got vienna sausages at all these come on now i'm the i'm gonna start back doing my mukbangs on the budget do y'all remember when miss gina just a couple of months ago used to do the mukbangs on the budget i would go and tell y'all how much they cost where i got them from and what i'm gonna start back doing my mukbangs on the but because it seemed that a bitch don't know what how to feed their children it seems like a bitch don't know how to feed their children. And since we both in Chicago, I got some ideas on where you can go. Because Chicago got a whole bunch of food pantries everywhere. At least, at least Lucy, come on with it. Come on with it. Even the dollar store. Even the dollar store. You can go in the dollar store, guess what? And you can get bacon. You can buy sausage. Come on now. But yes, make sure that the fake boyfriend got a lunch. The boyfriend eating good, but eating better than the baby. Where we do that at? Let me tell you something. When my husband was in the household, when my husband was in the household, he didn't eat before my kids. You know why that was? I'm going to tell you why that was. Because we had a lot of children in the house and, and the food might have gotten ate up quickly. And I didn't want his ass eating before my babies. Did you hear what I said? I said when my husband was in the house, he didn't even eat before my children. Because if the food dissipated fast, I didn't want his ass having a full belly before my babies. Now, I, I made his plate before mass because that's just a wife thing. That's just a wifely duty. So I would make, if whatever, after the kids ate, I made sure the children ate. Then I made his plate and whatever's left over, mama ate. That's what I, but I never, ever made his plate before them babies had a full plate. And I would ask them, do they want seconds? And if they wanted seconds, he had to wait. And if they did, and if it, and if it, and if it took up his, did you hear what I'm saying? If it took up his plate, guess what? He was going to have to find something to eat. Because in my household... In my household, no adults eat before the children. I feed the children according to age. Did you not hear me say Benjamin just turned 18? Benjamin just turned 18. He a grown ass man. Do you think I'm going to fix his plate before I fix angels and the twins? In this house, angel eats first. The twins eat second. And then Benjamin and then me. That's how we do it in this house. And whatever the grownest, the grownest person, the oldest person eat last or whatever the fuck's left over. Now, if you don't like that, then you get up off your ass and you go out there and bring a meal in. Sometimes I ain't lying to sugarcoat nothing. Sometimes Benjamin don't even get a meal.
Sometimes he don't get, you know why he don't get them in? Because he had been said, mom, oh, I'm going over my friend's house. And then he decided to stay here. Or he'll say, oh, ma, no, I didn't want nothing to eat. And woo, woo, woo. And then I come in with food for everybody, right? I come in with food for everybody. And I said, what you doing here? And he'll say, oh, I changed my mind. I said, well, damn, I bought food for everybody. But me as a mother. Me as a mother, I would never let him watch me eat. So I would give whatever I have. I say, I tell you what, we'll split what I got. That's how I do that. We'll split what I got. And you know what Ben would say? I'm good with that. Well, I know the fuck you is good with that. Because you 18 goddamn years old. And you should be going out getting mama a plate. Okay, these kids sit here and they, they grown-ups and they talk to you like shit. You got a seven-year-old, honey, telling her own mama what the fuck to do, when to do it, and how to do it, and got the nerve talking about what so, how somebody else mothering is. Come on now. Come on now. What you say, Henry, this beef, this the beef sector. We all messy. Spilly Boy not showing support to your channel. That's so, Spilly Boy always show um support. He show love. He show he might just be in the bushes. He may be in the bushes. He may be in the cloud. Spilly Boy always shows uh uh support over here. So we ain't gonna even thank you, Cassandra. We ain't gonna even do that because that's my brother. Everybody knows Spilly Boy, that's my brother. He always shows support over here. And Mama Caldwell. Hey, Mama Caldwell. She does too. If look, if Spilly Boy ain't over here in the bushes or in there, mother is. Mama Caldwell is. Thank you, Sheer Boredom. You are amazing. Thank you. You are too. Thank you. Bevo Barber. Spill yes, Spilly Boy did always show me support. He uh, thank you, Hudson J. They say it again for the people in the background that didn't see. Always shouting me out. Always speak to me. Honey, I love they could never, you know what they're doing? That's that other side trying to come over here and create some mess. Spilly boy always shows support over here. They 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 tried. You tried. You tried. We we gonna give you a half a point for effort. Exactly. He always speak on Mama Gina. Thank you, love. Thank you. They always want to try to some create some mess. It ain't not over here. I need you guys help. Can you guys donate something to help me to help bury my sister? When, when um lay it down. When you haven't even mentioned the um funeral and stuff. Did you have your mom's funeral? Okay, so so bomb. They tried. Rita, tell them again. Don't talk about Spilly Boy. Don't talk about my brother. Hey, the soap. Don't talk about my brother. See, they get mad when you're speaking real facts over here. I just finished watching his live and Spilly Boy did indeed shout you out. Respect to Miss Gina. Respect to Spilly Boy. Exactly, Hudson J. And, and, and shouted me out a few times. Not once, not twice, a few times. They could go on someplace with that. They can go ahead on someplace with that. But they tried. You know they got to try. They need to give them a half a point for effort. Mm -hmm. Hey, beautiful Alan. Yes, I, you saw with Suki. Come on now. They want to come. He sure did, Tanya. Want to come with that mess. Want to come. Because see, you see what they trying to do. The same way they was trying to do with his son. The same way that they were trying. That's what they want to do. They Us that's together. All of us that's, that's together. That's right. That's getting along. That was a troll. Exactly, Natasha. It was a, it was, that was a troll. All of us that's getting along, they don't like it. They don't like it because we getting along. So that ain't nothing but abomination. Y'all know who that, that's not nothing but abomination trying to create some mess. That's all that is. Be gone. Bye-bye. Be gone. It is not happening. It's fucked up. When you had people that was riding for you, when you have people that still was in support of you and then they go along and they mess up every goddamn thing around them. And then now they feel in some type of way. And so now you want to send your people over to cause havoc somebody else. If you don't get your raggedy ass off of my channel.
If you don't get your ass from over here, the se- that's all they do. They jump from platform to platform to platform, creating mess. Y'all getting along, they pretending. Come on, Suki. I love you too, Lily Reese. Mwah. I love you too. Sheer, sheer boredom. They bored, baby. <laughs> they bored. That's what it is. That is exactly what it is. They are bored. Okay. They don't like what it is that we do. They don't like that. It ain't working. Ash, tell me it ain't working. We over here getting alone. That's what it is. We over here getting alone. Natasha said, I was in Treasure's chat from the beginning to the end. He shouted you out, Ms. Jean. Yes, he did more than once. I, look, I was over, Natasha, I was over there on Boss Lady's channel, and then he popped up. I got the um, I got the, the thing, you know, the notification. I got the, and I was shocked. I'm like, oh shit, I got the notification. And I went over there. So he was shouting us out from the beginning to end. They trolls. Hey, Prima Wanda Love. What for one? Hey, hey, Lady Nika. Mwah, queen. Who? Lady Nika ain't, ain't playing. Lady Nika was not playing, honey. Did you hear? Did you? See, when you're tired, you're tired. When you're tired, you're tired. Yes, the soap. Deborah Lewis. Hey, NJ Native. Come on, y'all. Over. Don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget. If you came in and you forgot the thumbs up, thumb up on your way out. Honey. When you're tired, you tired. Lady Nika can't. Didn't she come through? I was like, come on, queen. I was like, come on, queen. Let them know you ain't playing. Let them know you ain't playing. I, you know what? And see, she like me. I don't, I don't flag people's channels. I don't, you know. Let me tell you something. When VS, I know VS watching. Shout out VS, VS watch. Cause V and I'm and I'm saying shout because VS love my my little titty twerk pictures. VS used to play my goddamn video every day. My homage, my homage to the T and the S, Madison. Okay, she would play, every time my name got mentioned, honey. She would play that video. I never flagged it. I never flagged it. I never said I wanted to take that. People would contact me and say, Miss Gina, they over there playing your video right now. And I used to tell everybody, Why y'all mad? I'm not mad. She really got love for Miss Gina. Y'all sitting up there acting a the fool. V- I don't care what you say. VS like them titties. Did, 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 did you hear what Spill it Boy said? Did you hear what Spill it Boy said? That that clown of Chicago, that microwave chick over there across the way is mad because Miss Gina got some beautiful titties. That's what she mad about. To, this bitch went and tried to put on two bras. Two bras to imitate me. And you still, you still didn't compare. You still was fucked up. Made yourself look like a whole goddamn fool. Baffoon. Okay. Rio, so sad. Chantel, I every time I heard she played that video, I said, why y'all mad? I said, VS love these titties. And let me tell you, when I did that second one, when I did that second one in my bathroom, I made sure that link went to VS. And honey, she cashed up a queen 20 bucks and said, thank you. I said, it's time for you to get a new one. It's time for you to get a new one. Let me tell you something. If don't like these perky babies huh, that nursed the nine, I can show sure tell you VS like them. VS like them. And that bitch over there, she in love with them too. She in love with <laughs> come on. <laughs> What'd you say, Ash Black? Two bras, but no petty ladders. Okay. Okay. Yes, after nine kids and Nikki, I nursed all of them. Okay. Every single one I nursed on these babies right here. So from a bitch over there that's trying to talk about a queen over here whose titties drag across the floor, every motherfucker touch and you had how many kids? One in the possible. One in the possible. Because court is still out. Court is still out on that first one. Okay. But we're going to come to that because court will be in session tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Court will be in Honey, the queendom court. 
will be in session tomorrow. Lady Nika said they inspired me. <laughs> I love you, Lady Nika. <laughs> What'd you say? Mrs. B said not one in a possible. Oh, yes, honey. One in a possible because we ain't for show sure about it. She ain't even fucking for show. Sure. So if she ain't for show sure about that first, how we going to be for sure? How we going to be sure if she ain't even sure? Okay. So court is still out. On that one, uh, we maybe we'll bring that up because, honey, honey, we ready tomorrow. Court is in session, Queendom Court, honey. Miss Gina gonna be in red, honey. I got the red robe. Did you hear me? I got the red robe. I got the gavel. Court will be in session tomorrow, Friday. Don't be late. It's at eight. <laughs> we gonna have us. A ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the first one up on the docket <laughs> is the shitty girl from Shy. <laughs> hey, lovely love. Hey, lovely love. <laughs> People don't listen. Maybe they'll listen when we have court tomorrow. Huh? Maybe we, maybe, maybe folks will listen when we have court tomorrow because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the judge gonna be in session the queen the queen is not just the queen of the kingdom now she is a judge honey well I'm, I'm up i'm gonna be sitting next to you maddie i'm gonna be sitting team maddie over honey if you not team ts madison you might as well leave right now because i'm all about the lgbtqina well elemental p okay over here we support positivity. Be who you want to be. Huh? I wouldn't give a goddamn if you said you was Jack Jill Kangaroo. Okay? How do you do? That's what Miss Gina going to say. Whatever it is that you claim to be and you say. Because tomorrow, tomorrow, y'all going to be, hmm, Miss Gina is going to be the judge. Okay? So I'm going to be Judge Gina tomorrow. Okay, that's all I want to see. That's all I, everybody, I, Judge Gina is going to be in the house tomorrow. Okay, court will be in session. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And first on the docket is <laughs> microwave, abomination, <laughs> and what else? Shall we go on? What for one said, I'm wearing my bailiff uniform and we'll be dragging distractions from Miss Gina courtroom. Yes! Brianna say, hey, Miss Gina. How you doing, Brianna? I'm bringing my popcorn. Woo, come on, bring the good stuff. Bring the good stuff. Who gonna count my books? I be low bid and shuffle. <laughs> okay, okay. Because we gonna be, honey, honey. And my lovely t voice, honey. Court's about to go down. It is about to go down. Because um, you know how, Brother James say, he always say, Spiller Boy, I'm asking for a friend. Well, you ain't going to have to ask for a friend tomorrow, Spiller Boy, because the court wants to know. Did you, did you hear what I said? The Queendom Court wants to know, the QC over here. We want, we want answers. <laughs> what, what do Tracy say? People want to know. The people want to know. Tomorrow... The QC want to know. You going to have your fish ready? I'm checking pocketbooks at the door. It's still it in y'all face like that. <laughs> we, got, we better check the pocketbooks. Keep slapping the hell out of five bucks like you did and crunching your ice. Okay, queen super rich. Queen, I'm a crunch all in their face. Gina is the queen of petty left. <laughs> Look, when I was nice, Belle, when I was nice and I was, we was a happy, happy family. Were we not? Were we? Come on now. The Queendom family members stand up. The Queendom family members stand up if I'm lying. Were we not a happy little family over here? Remember, we only had 30 or 40 people on the regular. On the regular, we would only have 30 or 40 people over here in the chat. Was we not a happy little family over here? Until they just kept on fucking with us. They made us step off the throne. 
What what for one? Wasn't it always peaceful? Was it Prima Wanda? Come on now. You are still nice until someone comes for us. Exactly. Gina, nice girls finish last. Yep. People don't appreciate nice. Allergic to fake. They don't. They don't appreciate nice. Lovely say, put your judge Judy Diamond earrings on. Cool. Come on now. Look, look, I'ma have on the diamond earrings for you. I'ma have on the good good wig, honey. I'ma have on the good good girlfriend tomorrow. Do you understand me? The good good girlfriend. Honey, wait, I have a robe and everything. And y'all know the robe gotta be red. You know the robe gotta be red. Cause when you are sitting up there on that platform, the red couch, the sizzle seat is what we call it. The sizzle seat, honey, you gotta be red hot. We're going to be red, hot, and ready tomorrow, honey. Makeup going to be done flawless. I may even tell my daughter to put me some eyelashes on. I may even tell her, put mama some eyelashes on. Honey, y'all ain't going to see the gray tomorrow. So, so get used to the natural, the ponytail and everything right now because this going to be covered up. It's going to be covered up tomorrow. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. I remember challenges and all. Come on now. Come on now. When Shantae said, I'm glad you dragged the mess out of her. Come on. And she's still, she's still trying to revive from that. Honey, they didn't gave her, they didn't resuscitated her. They didn't gave her oxygen. And that the girl still over there can't breathe. And now you over here coming for somebody else. Leave these people alone. I'm ready for this, Miss Gina. Let's get into it. Come on, Brianna. It's going down. Yes, honey. Allergic effect. It's we call it the sizzle seat. Over here on my, when we put somebody on the docket, y'all didn't even know I told y'all I was doing a new court show. We, it is called the sizzle seat. So we, honey, and let me tell you something. That sizzle seat gonna be so freaking uncomfortable because it's a little seat. <laughs> it's a little, so if you a big girl, if you a big girl and you go, honey, you ain't gonna be able to sit still in that sizzle seat long. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Heck, not cap. I'm grown. <laughs> no, she dead. Ain't no coming back from that dragon you gave her. Because <laughs> I said, hey, fam, if anyone can please help me out a little. I need a little help. Anyone helps. And God bless you. Yeah, look, we already having them. I was going to do it tomorrow because we were supposed to do it last thing uh uh what was that last friday we were supposed to do it and we wind up not doing it but hell everybody drop your damn cash apps i miss gina ain't got a problem with it y'all know miss gina like helping everybody we got 118 people over here if you feel it in your heart that you would like to bless someone if you feel it in your heart that you would like to bless someone come on and bless them Come on and bless them. Bless them right now. Bless some of the people. Bless, bless some of the queendom folks. Right now. Help, help, help a sister out. Help a brother out. Look out for her because that's the one thing that we never do around them. See, y'all over there giving money and everybody. Because, honey, Spill It Boy called it out. And I told you. I Everybody and their mama and daddy know that the taste is free. Every fucking thing, majority down. Majority downtown it's free you don't need no money to get in if you want to go on them look rudy poop boat rides and shit they range from 15 dollars to all the way up if you want like to go on a nicer cruise the nicer boat you want to be able to drink and all that stuff it could range from 20 to maybe 80 bucks Something like that. 20 to 80 bucks. Real, real cheap. It all depends on how many hours you're going to go out and all this kind of stuff. But if you're just doing like a once round thing, that's like, it's under $20. It's under $20. Don't forget no smoking in the court outside of the designated areas. Okay, because I don't, I don't do smoking. I don't do smoking. So ain't no smoking in there. Hi, Sour Patch. Sour Patch say, I'm here for y'all going to be ready, huh? Boat rack. Come on, one for one. Yes, a regular boat rack can be 37 to 50 bucks. And if you get there at a certain time, and depending on the age or your children, you can get them for like 15 bucks. You can get it for 15 bucks, 20 bucks. We went and it was a bunch of us because, you know, I have a lot of kids. And it was two adults. 
See, one for one said, yep, they'll give you a deal. It was two adults, and I think we had like six kids with us. It was two adults and six kids. Do you know what the guy said? The guy said, okay, I'll give you all a deal. He said, mom and dad, both of you all, I think he was. it was like 20 bucks for us. And then all the kids from the youngest to the, was between five and 10 bucks. It was no more than five. We had six kids with us and they gave a deal. So if you telling you got all these people and you get, you getting a good deal, you getting a good deal on that. Don't forget Navy Pierce. For, yes, Tanya, come on now. You come on through now. Come on through. Navy Pier is free, free. You can do all kind of shit over there. You can do and see all kind of stuff over at the pier. There is a group rate, but everyone has to be present. Exactly. Exactly. They will give you a good, uh, a good group rate as long as everybody's there. As long as everybody is there. And the bigger, the bigger, tell me if I'm wrong, what for one, the bigger the group, the cheaper it is. The bigger the group, the larger the group. So if you walk up in there with, like with us, it was six, it was eight of us. So that's a small group. But if you come in with 20, 30, 40 people, it's going to be cheap. It's going to be cheap per head. If you walking up in there and you telling them for that boat ride, I'm bringing y'all 20 people. I'm bringing y'all 30 people. It's going to be real cheap. It's going to be real cheap. I sure can't tell the summer's coming. Me and my lady going to take mini boat, boat rides this year. I don't blame you, Rio. FYI, a.k.a. Wi-Fi Lie. Uh, June will be held at Juicy J Mortuary. Spark at $20 per hour. Must give donations at the door. Okay, you'll need a lot more than that. You're right. I went on, on the Spirit of Chicago ride. It was nice. Yep, yep. It's real nice. Real nice. Taste of Chicago is free. You buy your own food once you're in the park. Yep. And not only that, and you can get samples for free. Did, did you hear what I said? You can get samples at the taste of Chicago for free. So if you don't want to spend no money on that high ass food, because them tickets is high as fuck. If you don't want to spend no money on that high ass food, ask them for a sample. The samples are free. Take it from somebody that live here. Miss Gina trying to tell y'all how to save your money. All of you guys that then went and already gave this girl all your money and you don't want to spend all that goddamn money down there at the taste. Ask for samples. The food. Just go from stand to stand. Ask for, by the time you hit the fifth stand, girl, you're going to be full. You're going to be full. She is trying to group the children. Group the children. Can anyone say fraud? Lovable Denver said, Gina, we have the taste of Colorado and it is free. Just have to buy tickets, coupons to buy your food or beer. Exactly. That's how it is here. That's that's exactly how it is here, Lovable. You just have to buy your own ticket. But to get a, around it, if you, well, they don't give you free samples of the alcohol or nothing. But if you want to taste the food for free, honey, just tell them to get, I'm telling you, by the time you didn't hit five spots, because some of them give you really good, nice size samples. By the time you, you full, you ain't going to even want to spend no money on nothing. You ain't going to want to spend no money besides your souvenirs and stuff. And bring a bag because they give you all kind of souvenirs. You get, you can, you get a bunch of free stuff there. So they paying for, for nothing really. Yes, you can get samples of everything. See, I'm, I, look, one for one. I think somebody going to be mad at the queen because the queen is telling them how to save money. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how to save money. I'm going to tell you and I'm going to show you how to save money in the shy. I'm just playing Cassandra, girl. You know I get out here and make masks. I'm just slow. Just got through paying rent. Of the, okay, oh, come on now. I, I hear you, lovely. The taste is too high. I don't even go anymore. Exactly, Tanya. It's, that's what, I don't go. The taste is too freaking high. Nobody want to pay. You go and you get, let's say, a chicken leg. You paying double by the time you buy all them goddamn 
tickets and shit. You better off just telling them, can I get a sample of the chicken leg? So I can see. I never had that before. Can I get a sample of that chicken leg so I can see if I if I like it? That's what you better do off doing. Hey, Christina, lay it down. It should be an organization in your town that can help you. Love, call the funeral homes and they will let you know what the organization can. I know when I did it, lovely, and you're right. Um, I went to when I wind up helping um my good friend who passed away, and um her daughter to this day calls me mom, and I was the first person that her daughter called when her mom she passed away in her sleep. She died in the bed, and she called me on the phone and she says, Mama Gina, I said, Yes. She said, mom just passed away. And she said, the only thing I could think of was to call you. She called me and I said, well, do y'all got insurance or what? They didn't have any insurance. They didn't have anything. You know what I did? The first thing I did and I went to lay it down. You can go to the village, the village hall in their area. I went there, honey. Do you know they gave me? I said, look, y'all ain't got to get the money to me. Go get the money. But you got to have. You do have to have the funeral home already picked out. Wherever they're going to bury her or cremate her, all of that. And all you need is the bill. You just need the bill. If that's where you're going to pick, because everybody will send the donations there. But I went to the village hall in their town and I said, look, you don't have to give the money to me. I called a meeting with all the family. I said, look, you can give it. The family wants to have it here. You can give the money straight to they gave me a $500 Visa gift card. I told them, don't give, don't get nothing to me. Give it directly to the church. They gave me a $500 Visa gift card towards that funeral. I wind up taking that there. And then I went to other places like Cedar. You can go to like the Red Cross. You can go to Catholic Charities. All these, even public aid. Public assist. If she had any type of low income, a food stamp card, a, 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 a medical, a medical card, a Medicaid card, any of that, they would even give three hundred. So that's eight hundred right there. That's eight hundred right there. Go to all, honey. I went every place. Came back. Went to my my um um village hall. Here they gave me three hundred bucks. And plus, and they bought all the clothes for the children, for, for, for the daughter. It was because she had two kids and the daughter had children. So they bought the daughter, the son and the grandchildren clothing and everything for the funeral. And they gave me 300 bucks to give, get them anything else that they need that was missing. So anything else that was needed or missing, they took care of that. And um, so there's it's places you just got to go. And honey, you got to talk. Let me tell you something. I went door to door. Did you hear me? I went where they live and I went door because she was, oh, Shakem was, I think she was 17, 18 years old when her mom passed away. I went door to door. I said, excuse me, your next door neighbor right here. She had two, two children. Um, her grandchildren, all that. Well, she passed away in her sleep. I said, all I'm asking for you, I'm not asking for no money. I'm just asking if when you make dinner tonight, do you think you can make three extra plates? Do you think that you could just possibly make three extra plates and, 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 and send it over to the family because we're preparing um, a funeral arrangements and stuff for the Honey, it spread like wildfire fight. People was bringing money over to that girl. They was bringing food over to that. Cases and cases of water and everything. It is a maze what you can accomplish when you ask. That's why I say, forget what these people say about. You can say whatever the hell you want to say about me. But one thing you can't say, Miss Gina has helped a lot of people. Y'all just don't know about it. You just don't see everything. I get out here and grind. I'm that one that go do to do and ask, can you help such and such? Can You ain't got to get the money to me. Can you just buy such and such? Can you just do this so we can help this person right here? So we can help that person right? Honey, people will help you. People, and if they don't help, go to the next person. When one person said to me, 
Oh, no, thank you. Um, I'm sorry. I, I can't do anything. I said, thank you very much. God bless you. And I went on to the next house. And I went on to the next one. Thank you, Tanya. You're incredible, Gina. You will always be blessed. That's why I tell these fools I'm covered. Jessica Epps, hey, Miss Gina, at work, but in the bushes. Mm, I love you, baby. Tracy Whitehead said, you are a blessing. New subby. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. Please sub. Please subscribe. Come on. I told you, y'all going to love it over here. Y'all going to love it over here. It's about helping people. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's why I don't understand why people, why is it, can y'all tell me, can anybody tell me, why Why is it a, a, a issue? Why is it a, a, a problem when somebody says, I'm going to go to the food pantry to feed my family? I'm, I'm going to go and ask somebody for help. Why, why, is it, um, why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? Why is it always a problem when somebody says, man, I need help and I don't know what it is that I'm going to do? Hmm. Why is that a problem? I think the problem is the, it, when you don't ask and you know you help and then your child suffering because guess what? They going to talk about you either way it go. They going to talk about you either way. When you don't ask for help, you know what they going to say? Well, if her baby was over there um, um, starving, then why she just didn't ask nobody? If her child, if she knew her child didn't have food for a, a week, why she ain't asked nobody? Same way that they did. Did you hear what they said? When the girl with the 50 cent, they said, if she knew she had to buy lunch and pay lunch, why she just didn't ask somebody for 50 cents? Why she just, they're going to talk about you regardless. So when you don't ask, because you're, you might have said, well, my check was going to come and, and, and I figured it would come in time and I was just going to wait for that. Guess what? They still going to talk about you. When you do ask for help in the system, guess what? They still going to talk about. Oh, she over there bagging around. Y'all, did you? Girl, she over there. She asking for 50 cents because she, because her kid ain't got no lunch. She, so what the hell is it that you want them to do? Not ask for the money and let the kid starve or to ask for the money and feed your child and do what you need to do. No matter what, you can't make these people happy. No matter what it is, they always have something to say. Pride is the problem. Shake. Come on, allergic to fake. Yes, Suki, tell them again to check on the strong ones. I subscribe and I love this channel. You always have me smiling. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, love. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Come on, Hudson J. Come on now. Hey, youngest sibling. Bear production is not a problem. It's only a problem to the people who have too much pride. Exactly. When you ask for help, they say no. When you make a way yourself, they hate that part. Always. Always. Oh, you know what I do when they say no to me? I, I smile and I say, thank you very much. God bless you. And I go on to the next person. Do you remember how bad? Belle, you was on here. And y'all remember how bad it was when I came on here and asked for that $300 to get my, my van that's just crashed up and stuff that outside. I asked and it's hanging on by a thread. Do you hear me? It, that lady hit me in two positions. She hit me in the back and she hit me on the side. And, and it's barely hanging on, but I'm going to drive it until the wheels fall off. I'm waiting to see what these, if these, what these insurance people are going to do now, if they're going to give me a rental or what. But let me tell you this. If it ever gets to, and I got three boys graduating. Count them. One, two, three. I got three boys graduating. It's so much that I can't just sit here on my ass and not do nothing. And not do nothing. So you damn if you do and you damn if you don't. They hate you when you ask and they talk about you when you don't ask. So what is it that you're supposed to do? I'm going to tell you what you're supposed to do. Be you. Be you. Don't never let nobody stop your blessing. Don't never let nobody stop you. Stop you from making a way for what's yours. Don't let nobody do that. People will sit there. You will know in your heart of heart. That's why I got much respect for laying down. She All she want to do is bury her sister. I knew how it was. When, let me tell y'all something. When my sister passed away, when my sister, do y'all remember the car accident I was in? I was in the car accident December 30th. My sister passed away New Year's, okay? I The, the man hit me. I crashed up my Mercedes. 
I black, I called her black beauty, honey. She was gorgeous, gorgeous car. Leather seats inside out, heated and beautiful. Do you hear me? While I was in Atlanta, I had to leave my hospital bed to go out to Atlanta, Georgia to bury my sister. I, we all asked my mom, did she have insurance? My mother went into the hospital and the insurance lapsed. So my, therefore my sister was not covered. While I was there, my insurance check came for my car. Cause you know, they pay you out right out for your car. When they find out if your car is totaled or whatever, they pay you right out for your car. Ask Miss Gina where that check went. It went to my mother. That check that I got from my Mercedes that they paid me outright went to my mother. Cause my mother had to bury her daughter. She had to bury us and everybody, what she do with her money? Oh, why she ain't got a car? Didn't she just get in an accident? No, ask me. Ask me. Don't try to figure shit out because sometimes we do what we got to do. I was blessed to be able to walk away from that accident. My daughter, my sister wasn't blessed. My sister passed away from her accident, from her incident. So I had to go and bury my sister. And with the money that was sent to me for my car, my mother had to bury her daughter. So I sent it. I gave it to my mother to do what was right. These people, you can't talk about me. You don't know where I came from. You ain't walked in my shoes. You don't know what people have to give up. I got three boys graduating right now. Do you know if they total out that van right now, tomorrow, if they say, Miss Gina, bring the van in, we are totaling it out and we keeping it tomorrow. Do you think I'm gonna take that little bit of money and go buy me another car? No, I'm going to spend it on my children's graduation because that's what's more important right now. It's more important that my children have their school fees paid and things paid off so that my boys can walk across that stage. Fuck what you talking about. That's the, that's the sacrifices that a mother makes. Thank you, Island T. Thank you, love. Blessings to you, wise and beautiful Miss Gina. Thank you. Thank you, love. Mwah. People, they don't even, they don't understand it. They, they got their priorities and shit all fucked up and mixed up. The first, look, all these people that's getting their um, they taxes and shit back. Most of them, they got their taxes already, right? They done got their taxes and stuff already. I can, I can promise you that 90% of the women who has children that have gotten their taxes already has not done what they were supposed to do or what they needed to do by their family. Some people needed to get new cars or needed to get their cars fixed. Some people needed to put food in their homes. Some people needed to pay their rent up. Some, but you know what they did instead? They went out and bought jewelry, honey. They went out, instead of buying a little cheap get around bug that, that that's going to do for them. They went and put a down payment on something that's going to be repossessed in two months. Did you hear what I said? They went and put a down payment on something that's going to be repossessed in a couple of months. And then they're going to be back on here begging you all to give them money because they need a car. But you won't say nothing to them. But you will say something to Miss Gina who shows every day she worked her ass off. Who showed every day I was putting water. Did you hear me? Water in my car in the winter time to get my ass back and forth to work. And I ain't asked nobody for nothing. I ain't asked nobody for nothing. I did it and showed it and with a smile. How many of you all saw me so smile, so happy like the motherfucker son came out when I made it to work? And I didn't ask for shit. See, that's where y'all got your priorities mixed up. That's where your priorities mixed up. Those are the people you should be supporting. You should be support. I was always taught. I don't know how y'all was taught. I was always taught God help those who help themselves. I was always taught God help those who help themselves. Well, I was a bitch that was helping myself to the end. 
I didn't complain. Y'all never heard me complain. The only time you heard me complain was when I was talking to my children and said, Mama, I'm so sorry we ain't got no heat. Mama going to get us a car with heat in it soon. That's the only time y'all heard me complain. And what did I say? I said, I just hate that my children got to be in this cold ass car. That's what I would say. I hate that my children got to be in this cold ass car. I said, but it's, it's driving. I ain't complaining. It's driving. It's getting. And my babies, do you hear me? My babies would say, have said on camera, that's okay, mom. We okay. We good. No heat. Dead or winter in Chicago. Nothing. But I still took them to school. I picked them up from school. I did with everything else. And you know what they did? Allergic to fake. You know what they did? They talked about me because I came on here and asked for $300 for a 1999 then. Not, not a 2000. Not a 2001. Not a 2005. A 1999 Plymouth. I can show y'all outside my little raggedy piece of shit that is that I loved. I fell in love with that day. Oh, they were saying I was lying and all kind of stuff. Honey, my children didn't even know I was going to pick that van up. You would have thought it was Christmas. We were so happy that actually Queendom members was crying for me. Because you know why they was crying for me? Not because they felt sorry for me. They were crying for me because they saw how happy I was to have a 1999 Plymouth van. Because my children didn't have to walk to school anymore. My children didn't have to walk to school. I was able to take them. Exactly. I did what I had to do. I didn't complain not once. And these folks get on here and complain about all kind of stuff, but you hear. That's why I taught my daughter, Cassandra, every time Cassandra come on here and I say, we say, how you doing? She say, mama, I'm going through something. She know what to say. She say, but I'm alive and well. I say, there you go. There you go. If you alive and well, you can get through anything. My baby said, Mom, what you going to do? Because she heard the van was acting crazy and stuff today. I said, we ain't going to worry about that. You know why? I said, because we alive and well. Because my baby, she could be not walking. She could be she could be in a wheelchair right now. I could be probably preparing her funeral. Because we got hit on angel side. I got whiplash for jerking back. A whole bunch of... That accident could have went an old entire other way. But guess what? We alive and well. We alive and well. And then folks were, and then somebody wants to say some shit. And here we go again. Every time she, wait a minute. Why are you mad? I ain't asked nobody for nothing. I didn't ask you for nothing. I told the queendom. Pray for me and Angel. You know why? Because me and Angel was out there on the motherfucking side of the road by ourselves, scared. Do you understand me? A friend, a good, good friend of mine, he came and stayed with us until the police came and said, Gene, I'm just going to stay here and make sure you and Angel is okay. And then when the police came, he left and called us and made sure we made it home safe. Nobody else did that. Nobody else cared. Only the queendom people. But only, only other person who actually knew step by step that what was going on was Kiki. You see how that go? And Kiki even said, Gina, if you need anything, what do you need? If you if y'all need anything, just tell me, just let me. I said, just a prayer, just pray for us. Just a prayer. Because damn show, if I need more than that, I'm asking. Um, if Angel needed more than that, I'm asking. Fuck what you talking about. I'm not letting my baby suffer for nobody. You a bitch on TV and you making YouTube, right? You claiming you bowling and you got it going on. Why that baby ain't got no meat with them potatoes? Why your baby ain't got no meat with her potatoes? Why she ain't got no fruits and vegetables laying on the side? Why she ain't got a glass of cold vitamin D milk? Okay, but you running around here talking about every goddamn body. Running around talking about every goddamn body. But and you're bowling. You're bowling. But your baby ain't got no cold milk. 
no fruits and vegetables, no meat and potatoes, no real potatoes, none of that. Not even a goddamn peanut butter and jelly. It don't make no sense. This, it's pathetic. TJ, why you here, baby? If we are sad, why are you here? Let me get rid of you. Let me let me help you leave. Let me help you leave. I don't understand why the haters come over here. What do you come over here for? What do you come over here for? If you if you so mad, what we because let me tell you something. They don't get mad at the other person. I didn't get that mashed potatoes cooking. <laughs> They don't get mad at the other person that talks shit about you all day. Talk shit about you and yours all day. They don't get mad. Ain't mad for a second. Ain't mad for a second. Ain't pissed off about it. Nothing. They could talk about your mama, your grandmama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your dad, your dead daughter, your dead dog, anything. But, the, but you over here, TJ. You over here, you listening, you creeping around. We said, right? Eat glass, swallow bleach, <laughs> slide down a blade slowly. That's what you can do. That's exactly what you can do. What happened to all these other people that's, that, that gets talked about on a regular? Hmm? Flip-flopping back. First, you don't like the gays. Now you love the gays. You know, first you don't you don't you don't like what they stand for because the men trying to be the women and the women you don't know what it is. Now, now you 100 percent woman and you're just all for it. Like make up your mind. The one thing that you should do is stand in your shit. Hey, Miss Creole, keep your head up, Queen. Adjust your crown. You are a very good mother. Thank you, love. Thank you. I appreciate that. They get no matter what you do, look. When my daughters and them was helping me and everybody, and I told you guys, remember I told you, I said, oh, I want this t-shirt business and, and, um, man, I want to be on it. This is something that I want to do with my, with my children and everything. And remember I told you, I said somebody invested in me and they not even a YouTuber. There's somebody outside of YouTube and they invested in me and helped me to get my, uh, uh, uh t-shirt press and all of this kind of stuff. And everything. And I was so happy. I am so happy. Because I could get on here and I could do this and that and do it for my... I, look, if I got to go out and sell these and go door to door and say, look, would you like to buy... Would you like to buy tea? Would you like... If I got to go do it, that's me and my family's business. That's, that, that's how I'm su supporting them. Why is that a problem to anybody else? Why is that a problem to anybody? Instead of folks saying, man, you know what? Kudos to her. I, I, I take my hat off to her because she could be sick. I've been off work. It's going on two weeks. Two weeks is going. This is the second week it'll be. Well, next week will be the second week that I'm off work. And um, I could be sitting here, sitting on my ass, not doing nothing. Fit, trying to fit, bagging people saying, damn, can y'all do this and that? That Disney chick is all about herself and she wouldn't lay with the devil for clicks and views. Well, she would lay. You right. You right, Tanya. That's the way I was taught. You can expect nobody to help you if you're not helping yourself. Preaching. Exactly. And that's how I was always taught. You got lovely. You know how we always say, baby, you better come up with a hustle. You better think of a my T-shirt thing with me and my babies. That's our hustle. And one day, uh, Sydney got me eight, eight, eight people who bought T-shirts from us. And I said, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, you must help yourself. People watch you. People, yeah, we see that now, how folks sit and watch. Pay attention to those that don't do shit and just bag, bag and say, gimme, 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 gimme. And then pay attention to those that try to make something happen. Regardless of what, they try to make something happen. Are you going to do horoscope sign t-shirts? Honey, listen, Linda, I will. You want one? What's your horoscope, mama? I will. Look, I will look one right up and do it for you. I sure will. 
Where there's a will, there's a way. Honey, let me tell you what I'm doing. Somebody gave me um, the idea instead, put scriptures on it. I'm putting scriptures. I'm even doing foot fetish t-shirts. Okay, I'm going to have something for everybody. I'm doing L-G-B-T-Q-I-N-A, elemental P shirts. Do you understand me? I'm everybody, everybody. I'm looking out for everybody. This is what we're going to do over here. If it's, if that's going to bring some money, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Exactly, Virgo life. Folks need Jesus. I'm going to put that on a shirt. I'm putting that on a shirt tonight. I sure am. Folks need Jesus. Sure am. Uh, listen, Linda, you are Aries. Aries. And lovely love, you are Pisces. This is a Pisces. All right, I got them down right now. Shoot, I'm not playing. Everybody wants to eat, but very few are willing to hunt. Ooh, come on now. Come on. Ooh, don't you make me put that on the shirt. Don't you make me put that on the shirt. Oh, look, 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 up, up, up. Don't you make, or allergic to fake. Don't you make me put that on a shirt, baby. I got to scroll back down for that one. We said everybody. Wants to eat. But very few are willing to hunt. Come on now. Woo, come on. Y'all give me. Look, I'm going to be up all night making some t-shirts. Do you hear me? I'm going to be up. Y'all know Miss Gina keep the book. I, I keep the book now. I keep the book. We go. I'm going to be up all night, all night. Look, I even put out, I poured out, y'all look at this. I poured down my readers and everything because I was ready. I said, I can't see. I poured out my readers. I said, oh yeah, it, 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 it's time to, what they say, it's time to make the donuts. It's time to make the t-shirts. It is time to make the t I got bills. I got bills. We at the beginning of the month. Shoot, I already missed a paycheck. I get paid weekly, okay? So I didn't already, I'm about to miss another one. Mm -mm. We ain't got time. I got one for you, Miss Gina. Do, do me. Do, don't do me. Do, do me. Do Jesus. Don't do me. Do, oh, don't do me. Do Jesus. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all keep giving them to me. Keep giving them to me. Don't do me. Do Jesus. Woo! Look, I'm making these t-shirts tonight. You all, all these sayings that y'all giving me are going to be on shirts tonight. Are going to be on shirts tonight. Cassandra, baby, you a Gemini? How much are your t-shirts? My daughter owns a daycare and she's been looking for of doing shirts. I'm just checking out prices. Uh, what I usually do is for... That they're $25 and the reason is $25 because that includes shipping. That includes shipping. So for me to make the t-shirts and to ship it off for you, everything, it's just, it's 25 bucks. I, no matter where we got to ship it, no matter where we got, I think out of the eight, no, we had 10 orders and eight, I had to ship out. Eight, I had to ship. I had to ship a couple of to Texas. Um, we had to, um, we sent some out. Well, Chicago is not that far from here, but wherever, um, I think we sent, I think I sent two to Georgia. It was, but my daughter, honey, they was coming from everywhere. She was getting them orders from one t shirt that I made her overnight. She was going out and she just said, Mom, I want to see how your shirt maker work. She said, just make me one. I said, oh, I'm going to make you a nice one. Send me a picture. And she sent me a picture. And it was of her in silhouette. And that very next day, she had like three orders. And people and the orders was just coming in after that. Everybody kept saying. And she posted because she took pictures. And she posted it. And everybody was just asking for T-shirts. And then from there, shoo. 
They was cash apping me up a storm. I'm like, come on, come on. I'll make some more. What else you want on it? Hey, Tropical Punch. And not sometimes, all the time. Oh, Virgo life, you hot. Virgo, li Virgo life, you hot. See, that's why I be needing my book. This is why I need, this is why I be needing my book. That's right. And not sometimes, all the time. Ooh, I love it. And not sometimes, all of the time. I love this. I love it. Did, see, this is the mean. This is working together. This is networking. This is looking out for somebody. This is helping those who help themselves. See how that go? Helping those who help themselves. Sometimes if you give a person, if you just give a person a push, a look push and help them get on out there and do what they need to do, Man, they have finished the rest. Going to Christ Epperson concert. Ah, oh, need a nice tea. When, Tiffany? Going to Christ Stapleton concert. Need a nice honey. I got you. I'll hook you up. I got one for you too. Virgo life. Virgo life has been giving me one. I love the ones you've been giving me. I'm gonna be up all day doing t-shirts tonight. <laughs> And I'm gonna love it because I love doing. Look, I come right here, like I, and I'm on my computer, and and I come up with the fonts and do everything here, and then I print them out, and then I go downstairs because you know once I get to make the money good, I'll have a computer thing that's just for the printer, and I can set all that stuff up downstairs. But that's gonna come in time, and um, and and I just get down there, and get to pressing. I get down there and I get the press, get the press and t-shirts. So, um, it, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm on it and I love it. I love doing it. I love having the kids help me. The boys come in here and they help me and they give me ideas. My daughter, like she, she designed her own t-shirt. Really all I did was print it out and put it and other people liked it. So even if you got an idea or something, send me a picture and I'll print it out and, and put it up there. Um, I made my other t-shirt I wore it yesterday and I just went and did that. Took a few seconds. Angel was like, mom, you made that t-shirt. I'm like, I sure did. I sure did. So I got you everything I need. I got here. I got the transfer paper. Where's my, yeah, I got the transfer paper over there, light and dark. You just tell me what, um, shirts you want. Now, what I do have to do is. Um, I'm, I got to find a um, wholesaler, a wholesaler to where I can get, um, I want to get a variety of t-shirts, all different sizes. So I found one and I've been getting some ideas offline. So I've been like researching that, trying to get a supplier that um, I could get all different sizes. So I'll always have some shirts um, on hand. Um Oh, my other ink for my printer, I it, it came already. So I ain't gonna have a problem with running out of ink. I'm all good. Honey, I'm loving this. I am loving this. I love being able to sit at home and make money. Another one, BU, it, BU, it drives people crazy. <laughs> that is, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> You say be you, it drives people crazy. I love that one. Oh, y'all, I'm gonna be printing so many t-shirts tonight. Be you. It drives people crazy. There's this other lady. Hey, Sir Neely. There's this other lady, and she does teach. She's been doing it for a while. And I'm on her site because I do the DIY stuff. And she sent me a message today and she says, Gina, she said, I just wanted to know, did you buy the heating press for the shirts? Cause I had, I, she, her channel expired. Her channel. Thank you, love. Who just sent me? Somebody, I heard it drop. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
It said, okay, I ain't going to put it down yet. I just seen it said for the t-shirts, for your t-shirt. You know how you want it? 80 people in your chat. Where is Spill It? Where is Spill Why is y'all worried about Spill It, boy? Let me put, let me um get you. Let me delete you. These trolls just won't stop coming. Why are you so worried? Get the hell up out of here. We're talking about a whole different thing. They want to come over here and just create. See how they try to create some mess? Get your raggedy ass out of here. I will cash up you next Friday, then give you my post office info. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Um, Kiki say t-shirt that say too much to handle. <laughs> I love I like that with Kiki. Too much to handle. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Tiffany got to let me know. Tiffany, let me put my email in here too so you can let me know um, how you want your shirt and what you want on it. These these trolls ain't got no have no life. Scroll up, Miss Gina. That person should have read my last comment. Okay, Virgo. Let me go back up. Um, I believe that's the that same troll that just came back. Oh, positivity brings life. Get you one. Ooh, I like that one too. All right, let me let me put that one down. Brings life. Get you one. Oh, I'm glad you told me to scroll back up. I like that one too. Oh, honey, I'm gonna be the now I'm gonna be the t-shirt making queen. <laughs> I'm not mean today, tropical. I'm doing good. She better not be mean. Lovely, you and life is too short. We ain't got no time to be, ain't no time to be being mean. To nobody smile that's what they want y'all say misery misery loves company misery loves company. so something i think you know and they say you know hurt people want look when i'm hurting i don't want to hurt nobody when i'm hurting and, and 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 i'm miserable i don't want nobody else to be miserable i want them i want other folks to do good actually i want them to do better than me because if you're doing good then guess what? You're going to spread that out there for somebody else to do good and make it forward. I want somebody to be, if I'm bad, if I'm mad, if I'm sad, if I'm bitter, if I, I want some good people, happy people around me, because I want you to make me feel better. Another one, bitterness block. Yes. I love to say bitterness blocks blessings. Yes. I love that. Bitterness blocks blessings. Like they trying to do now. You know, they, they coming on here with this mess, concerned about why every why are you they so concerned coming over here? Wait a minute. This is my question. Why are you worried about who 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 support me or don't support me? Cause you don't. So why are you over here worrying about if somebody else is not over here or not? That don't even make no sense to me. That you use the so concerned and so in your face. It ain't like if that person was lovely or or a tropical punch or a prima wanda or, or or you know somebody that's a part of the queendom that I mess with on a regular that's a troll if you don't troll your ass somewhere else worrying about that these damn people got so much and y'all keep doing what you James James because I know my brother's in the clouds Jen, keep doing what you're doing because you got them pressed baby you got them pressed. They are so upset, honey. They over here trying to create some hits of problems. They over here. Try, please, Miss Y'all got the wrong one to try to pull that mess on. 
I ain't the one. You got the wrong one to try to pull that mess on. I got nothing but love for my brother, James Caldwell, and he ain't got nothing but love for me. Y'all better scoot y'all ass on over somewhere else. This the wrong one. Y'all have a blessed evening. Gotta go cook dinner. Oh, all right, youngest. Look, I got, oh, we, well, I'm still good. It's 4.30. I have to pick Angel up in a little bit. Angel's um, got an after-school dance thing that she's doing that they're practicing. Prima Wonder for a t-shirt. You can do all things through Christ except come for me. Woo! Come on now. Come on now, Prima Wonder. That's a good one right there. Can do all things. I love this one through Christ. <laughs> My girl say, except come for me. Come for me. Oh, we honey. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You drive. Everybody's driving. They're all confused and things. They, <laughs> they sure are island tea. They are very confused. Miss Gina, I'll definitely let my daughter know and get back to you. Okay. Let me know. And then um, I'll give, depending on how many, if she's going to get a bulk of something, then I'll just give her like a flat rate, including delivery and all that kind of stuff. We'll do it like that. So just let me know. Um, I did put my um, email in the chat. Let me put my email back in here again so you'll have it. There we go. There's my email. And then my, my cash app is. There we go. Hey, my feast world. Hey, I'm filtered. Thank you for the thumbs up. Y'all, I got, it's 144 up in here. Yes, yes. We be, I've been on here an hour and almost 30 minutes. So we good. Mm-hmm. Talking about that microwave. That, that microwave heated up for two minutes and then burnt out. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. They get, they get overheated. The microwaves get overheated, y'all, and then they burn out. That's what happens when you want things fast. When you want things quick, fast, and in a hurry, they get overheated and they burn the fuck out. That's why you're supposed to take your time with stuff. When I do my t-shirts and everything, I have to take my time with, I have to take my time. Like now what I told you guys, I was sitting up here looking at pictures and stuff. So when I'm sitting up here and I'm looking at the pictures, hey, Tracy World. And I'm looking at the pictures and I got to look at the fonts. So when I'm looking at the fonts of, of, of um, how I want the lettering and all of that stuff on there, I got to take my time. And then when I take my time, I got to make sure it's positioned right. Because if it's not positioned right, everything going to be off. And if, if one thing's off, it throws the whole organization off. If the font is off, when it's going to throw the printing off. If the printing is thrown off, then it's going to throw the um, ironing process off. If I throw the ironing process off when I stick it to the T-shirt, it's going to throw the T-shirt off. So then, you know, what, what, what you going to do? That's why you take your time and you do stuff accordingly. But these people don't, mm -mm. they want everything quick, fast, in a hurry. They want your money quick, fast, in a hurry. They want your like quick, fast. They want your view quick, fast, in a hurry. They want your decision, your decision making quick, fast, in a hurry. You see how that person keep popping up on here, trying to start shit, trying to keep up there, create. He more bothered than I am. He more worried about stuff than I am. Let me tell you something. 
It's a lot of times I go over there to Spill It Boy's channel to, to, to when he's on his Trezor page and everything else. I don't always pop down. Sometimes I just be over in the clouds lurking around. You know why I be over in the clouds lurking around? Because nine times out of ten, it's somebody else over there I don't like or don't want to deal with. And I don't want to create no havoc. Or no tr so I'll just stay lingering around in the clouds. Who said Spill It Boy ain't here? Who said that? He be here a whole bunch of times. He be like, Miss Gina, don't think I ain't saw Miss Gina. I saw you over there. Woo, 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 woo. He had been to talk to ballet, knew everything that I had did. But you always got some fuck bucket that don't have no life or nothing that wants to come over here and create. That broad and abomination and all them want so much mess to go on with Spill It Boy and other content creators, they can't even breathe. They can't even... See, you failed already once when you tried to pull that stunt with ZT. It was a flop. Now you want to come and try and get them over here and want to try to come and pull that stunt with me. Guess what? Epic fail, because Miss Gina don't play that. Miss Gina don't play that. It keep Keep it moving. Go do something else. You have to take your time and be patient if you want things to work out well for yourself. Exactly, Rio. Exactly. And that's why everything I do, even with my kids, I tell they be like, oh man, ma. And I'm like, no, don't worry. It's, it's okay. It's gonna be cool. Same way when I took the boys to the to, to the gun thing. When I took the boys to the gun thing and I had messed up, right? Because I had forgot to put the safety back on. And my son had to tell me because I set it down, but I forgot to put the safety on before. I said, oh, shit. And I was just beating myself up. I'm like, oh, how did I do that? I'm not supposed to forget that. I'm not supposed to. And my baby, he said, he, he put his hand on my shoulder. He said, it's okay, ma. It's okay. He's like, just calm down. It's okay. Nothing happened. You just made a mistake. Just know next time. The entire time, another lady, the other lady was watching us. That grandma I told y'all about, grandma that didn't play. Grandma that didn't, she said, if you got a gun in your hand, you ain't trying to stop them. She said, you want them dead. And I said, you right about that, ma. Oh, correction. I stand corrected. My baby was so soft-spoken. The one that y'all saw came and gave me a hug. Big one. Farron came and gave me a hug. Was so soft-spoken and easy with me. He rubbed my... He said, Ma, it's okay. It's all right. Everything's fine. Just make sure you put it on next time. And every time afterwards, I shoot. Boom, 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 boom. Get through shoot. He says, Mom, don't forget the safety. Oh, okay. Put the safety on. And then I lay the gun down on the table and then it's his turn or it's my other son's turn but they were gentle and easy and you never know who watching and the woman that was watching she said that's all you I, n I never thought of it that way she said that's all you she said you a good mother she said I could tell you a good mother she said because I saw how he was with you he was calming you down she said, that's all you. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I was telling her, I said, I just want to learn enough to where I could stop somebody. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, mm, mm She said, sweetheart, when you pull out a gun on somebody, you better be prepared to use it. And if they didn't broke into your home, you want them dead. When I said, grandma, I stand corrected. You right, you right. And then I was shooting my butt off after that. Shoo! That man told me, "You a, that's a good shot. You, a, Honey, I was getting all head shots. I was getting head shots, ass shots, throat shots. Honey, I was tearing them down. I was not playing. I was not playing. But it was great to, that someone else saw something in me and in my children that I didn't even see. I wasn't even paying attention. That's why I say you never know who's paying attention to you. And you, that's why one thing about character is everything to me. Car it's not about how much money somebody gave you or how much money you can make. If you have a great character, 
if your name stands on something and about something and you you can get through anything you can get through anything my daughter says all the time my everybody think they know you every time I met you, she, 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 she said all the time my every time i met you everybody they they said i know your mama miss gina i know your mama and i'm just and i'm like okay why you you know i'll be mean, why you mad she was like because they all think they know you everybody i said that is because Miss Jeannie, your house looks so clean. Thank you, grown folks relationship. Thank you, love. Honey, I try. I all with ooh, honey. You know what all the kids that I got from the time they was little baby babies. I had to have some organization. I'm back, y'all. How much is the shirt, Gina, so I can cash out, get you, get to you. I need it by next weekend. Um, $25, and that's including delivery. It's just $25. And then I, that's me making it and, and shipping it to you. Yeah, grown folks relationship. My people will come into my house and they say, uh-uh, ain't no nag kids in here. And I said, well, why you say that? You don't hear all them babies crying? Because well, I hear three babies in diapers at one time. And um, she said, because look at how clean your walls and stuff is. And you know why that was? Because my mother didn't play. My, it was just three of us. And every weekend we had to wash walls. Please. On the weekend, them older kids had to wash the top of the walls, and the younger ones had a bucket, a, a spray, and a towel, and they was washing the bottom of the wall. Every single weekend, do you hear me? Every weekend, my kids would wash walls and stuff because it would take to the end of the weekend when you, you know how when you go down the banister, well, I got my hands on the thing, but when you go, and it'd be sticky. Because from all the peanut butter and jelly they had and the candy and, and the cookies. So when you go down, you be like, damn, why are the baddest the sticky? All the kids. And then you see little fingerprints here and there every weekend. Every weekend, we would wash walls. And then I have the other one. You got this area. You get, The older girls had the kitchen. The boys' jobs was always to take the garbage out. Everybody had something it was for them to do. Now, I would tell them, if you don't want to keep your room clean, if you don't want to keep your room clean, then keep that door. You live in that filth yourself. And guess what? Don't come to me saying you're itching. Don't come to me talking about bugs. Don't come. I don't want to hear none of that because that's what you choose to live in. That's how you want to be. Close your door up and do that. But the rest of my house, the outer part from the hallways to the bathrooms to the kitchen, it's going to be clean. It's going to be clean. And then they would decide, because I was that mother. I'm nosy. Do you hear me? I was that mother. I'm nosy. You got teenagers in the house, honey. I be looking through drawers. I be looking up under stuff. My girls used to say to me every week, Ma, you been in my room? I said, excuse me? They, you was in my room. What you was looking for? I said, "What, you, what room you got? You pay, you pay bills. Some what room? What room you talking about? Cause in this house, all the rooms belong to me. When my other children was around and we was in that house, all the rooms belong. You ain't got no rooms. If you if you ain't paying rent and bills, you ain't got no. Oh, I was looking. Do you hear me? I was looking." I was checking for, I needed to know. I want to know, is you getting high? Is you smoking? Is you drinking? Are you, you, are you using safe sex? Like, I needed to know. And I, can, I can't speak for everybody else because some people say, oh, Miss Gina, don't you think that, that that's wrong and you're invading their privacy or don't you think you're giving them permission? Let me tell you something. Children are going to do what they want to do. They're going to be who they want to be. They're going to sneak and they're going to do what they want to do. The best thing that any mother can do for their child is to protect them. Did you hear what I said? The best thing that any mother can do for her child is to protect them. And that's what I did. Now, I ain't saying this what you should do or any. I'm telling you what I did. For my daughters, I protected them. For my son, I protect. I didn't go on them telling me, I'm, I, I ain't having no sex. I ain't doing nothing. I said, oh, okay, we'll still get your coat and stuff. We're about to go to this clinic. Huh? 
Ma, I told you I ain't having no sex. I ain't doing nothing. I said, get your coat and your purse because we about to go to this clinic up here. And I did what had to be done. They said, okay, ma'am, mother, okay, you're here for birth control. Oh, okay, so you wanted us to give her some, put her on birth control. But nope, that's not what I want you to do. I want some implants. I want some in and plant them in here or in here. But I want some implants because if he flip up, rubber down, toss and turn or whatever it is, she ain't getting pregnant. Now, she got to be grown enough and work because if you're going to do the act, you have to understand that you still have to protect yourself from STDs and other stuff. Mama is only protecting you from getting pregnant because at 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, you don't need to be having no babies. All your children need to be focusing on is school. They shouldn't be focusing on sex, but things happen. These little hot tail girls get out here and the boy get the rubbing and gyrating. You, we already, you see what goes on every time that other chick get on here, don't you? You see how, how, how. Uh, James read her and said how she was hot for a, a twat too hot all up in that, that ain't the only one. There's a whole bunch of them that twat if you just rub them, honey. If you just touch their hands, woo, honey, they don't know how to act. So the best thing that a mother can do for her child is to protect them. Boy or girl. Guess what? Angel is getting protection. And I know Angel ain't doing it. Honey, I was shocked in the poll when I found out. Um, When I found out. Yes, Contessa. Yes, he did. When I found out that um, um, when my son, you know, was out here and, 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 and he told, he said to me, when he got his girlfriend, I ain't gonna lie, got pregnant out of high school. My son had a baby out of high school. And um, he said, well, Ma, she said she was on the pill. And I said, idiot, that ain't going to stop your dick from falling off if she had a had a STD. What if she had a had gonorrhea, syphilis, AIDS, HIV, anything, you know, that you couldn't get rid what you was going to do there? You know what he said to me? Now, these, is, this is, these are young people. This is how young people think. He said, oh, I ain't think about that. I said, what the hell do you think the condoms was for that we were giving you? Because we were all given. I gave him condoms. My husband gave him condoms. His dad gave him condoms. His stepdad gave him condoms. Like everybody, we all did this because we said, no matter what, you stay protected. He figured... Because the girl told him she was protected. She was good. That was a lie. So they wasn't protected either way. They wasn't protected from STDs. And they wasn't protected from him getting her pregnant. But her mom had to take care of that situation. All I knew is my daughters wasn't getting pregnant. Now, if my daughters was going to go out there and be stupid and still not use a condom and catch an STD... Then that was on them and we was going to do what we had to do. But I knew this, if it happened, they would, I wasn't going to be a young grandmother. I could tell you that I wasn't going to be a young, and I'm still not going to be a young grandmother. I got one left and that's angel. And honey, I'm, when I say knock on wood, I'm counting the days. I am going to get birth control for angel. You, you wait, till, wait, wait, wait till she turned 14. Baby, we gonna fly up at that gyne so goddamn fast. Y'all ain't gonna even know what happened. And that is the problem. You got babies having babies. Nobody, these, these kids, seven-year-olds know about sex. Know about getting pregnant. Hey, cause they mamas and, 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 and daddies ain't teaching them nothing. Nobody's telling them how to be safe, how to be protected. Nobody is being honest with these children and telling them that if someone touches you or mess with you, that's not a good thing because they have no business doing that. You need to tell somebody and talk to somebody because people, honey, I was talking to my children. From the time they was in the tub washing, they said, when I would, you know how it is, us mothers, 
us mothers, y'all know how it is. When you go and you give your girls a bath and you give your, you know, they're in the bath, honey, when I will wash the arms and I will wash up under the arms and stuff, I say, okay, who's washing your arm? And they say, mommy. And I said, who else washes your arm? They say, mommy. I said, exactly. I said, somebody else asked to wash your arm. You scream as loud as you can. You come running for mommy. And I tell them, who's washing your chest? And they say, mommy. I say, who washing your chest? They say, mommy. I say, well, if somebody else is washing your chest, you scream as loud as you. Honey, I didn't play that. You can teach these kids from the time they're babies, from the time that they're talking, you as the parent can teach them what good touches is and what bad touches are. Cause most of these children don't know. And then you got folks that's tricking them. That's tricking them and making them think bad touches is good touches. Cause they on some perverted bullshit. You wondering why kids think it's okay. Um, let me tell you something. When children see their parents doing certain things, when children see their or hear their parents talk a certain way, they assume if mommy and daddy can do that, if mommy and daddy can say that, it must be okay and good. Everything that an adult do is not good for the children to do. So it's up to us to teach them that you can't do that, that you can't talk like that. That's why you see, I know everywhere y'all go, I ain't the only one where y'all, where y'all have seen two and three and four year olds tell their mothers, shut up, mom, you shut up. You know how I know? Cause my, my granddaughter did it to my son. We was walk, we was, we was leaving somewhere. We were in the store and my granddaughter, I think she was three at the time. She was, she might three, two or three at the time. And she said, shut up, daddy. And I'm, I'm waiting because I'm waiting because I don't play. I'm waiting. My granddaughter said, shut up, daddy. And my son said, Papa, you going to tell your daddy to shut up like that? You gonna I said, boy, what is you doing? He said, what? I said, you tell her she don't do that. I said, don't you ever. Y'all, she look like a deer caught in headlights. I said, don't you ever in your life tell your father to shut up. You are, you a kid. You don't tell your father to shut up. And I looked at my son and I chastised him and I told him, you a parent. You don't let her play with you like that. Because when they start playing with you like that at two years old and three years old at 10 years old, they going to think they can tell you to shut the fuck up and they're going to tell it to you at the wrong time. And now you still going to think it's cute like you thought it was cute when they were two. Are you still going to think it's cute like you thought it was cute? When Because they always seem to do it at the wrong time. We didn't see how many, how many times have we seen that girl check her mama? How many times have we didn't saw that little girl check her mama on camera? I wish one, look, I ain't going to even say goodbye to y'all. I wish in one of mine's ever come up in here, call themselves trying to check me on camera, off camera, under a camera, over a camera, in a camera. I wish and one of mine from the youngest all the way up to the oh, my you want it. My son, who's 32 years old, says, oops, my, uh, my fault. I don't even know what the hell I was thinking when he cursed in front of me. Because you know why? Because I check him and I say, Tracy, I ain't your friend. That's what I tell him. I said, Trey, I ain't your friend. And he'd be like, oh, shit. Oh, mom. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. I don't know what I was. I'm sorry. Because I'm not his friend. Don't feel, don't ever feel that you let, y'all hear me say it to Cece. And see, Cece will laugh it off. Because like I said, I won't, I, I never will embarrass them. I'm going to talk to them. But y'all hear me tell Cece, Cece, don't make me smack you in the mouth. And she'll laugh and say, okay, mom, I'm sorry. And she clear it up real quick. Y'all hear her. She clear it up real quick. Because when I feel she's going too far, I, I got to let them know I'm never your friend. I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. So even though we play and giggle, we can play and giggle all day long, but I ain't never kicking it with you. I, I'm never, ever kicking it with you. So I have to let Maz know from the jump, we ain't friends. We ain't never going to be friends. I wasn't put here to be your friend. I'm your mother. And you're going to respect me as such. 
That's why it's a Miz in front of that Gina. Because people, kids don't respect. Do you know kids will come up and they'll say Gina, but they mama will say, Miss, hey, Miss Gina. And the kids will come up and say, oh, what's up, Gina? What? My mother would have smacked me in the mouth and yanked my tongue out at the same time if I ever called a, 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 a grown person. Male or female body, I don't even allow my kids to do that shit. When they do and let it slip out, I say, uh-uh, you say Miss Tanya. And they say, oh, hey, Miss Tanya. You know, you say Mr. Tony. Oh, hey, Mr. Tony. That's that's realness. That's realness. Rio say, unfortunately, these young shorties out here, a bunch of followers, and don't use their own brains nowadays. Shaking my head. You right. Kiki say, I know that's right, lovely love. I got to do close tomorrow it's even when you have a off day but you're still working and doing errands that's true miss behavior say i am a third year med student with my house condo and car i still would never use profanity in front of my parents especially my mother misbehaving that's because you've been raised right that's because you've been raised right and that's how it's supposed to be and I understand sometimes it slip out and kids get, you know, they get to act. Because my, look, Cece got a mouth on her. It slip out all the time and she'll act a fool. And I have to check her. I have to straighten her up real quick. She be like, oh, ma, I'm sorry. She kisses me on the forehead. She always kisses me on the forehead. But she know I ain't playing. She know I ain't playing. Hudson J said, damn, damn it, Miss Gina. You're making me miss my mom. She was just like you in the way she brought me up. Wasn't for her, I wouldn't have what I have today. Real hashtag real mothers. Thank you, love. Thank you, Hudson J. Thank you. I'm just keeping it real. Hi, Miss Gina and Queen. Hi, Infinity Blue. Miss Behaving say, I'm 23 years old. Oh, man, Queen. You, 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 young, you right up under CC, right up under my daughter. You the same age as my son. I told my son the other day some hurtful shit, but he had to hear it. I'm not your friend. I'm your... Come on, lovely. Come on, lovely. Mm -hmm. Come on, lovely. Listen, Linda say, mm -hmm. come on. You're not their friend. I'm your mother. So I ain't going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And we ain't covering nothing up. We ain't sugarcoating nothing. I'm going to tell I, Look, I had to tell Cece today. Some stuff that she didn't want to hear, but she needed to hear. Because I told her, I'm your, I'm, I'm not your friend. Your friend sugarcoat stuff. They cover stuff up. Your friends tell you with a smile, girl, it's going to be all right. But your mama going to tell you with a serious face, maybe a watery eye, the truth, the truth. Honey, these kids, uh, mm -mm -mm. this is why these kids running around here crazy now. This is why these little girls running around here crazy and stuff now. Mm -mm. I told my son, them. I told him, I said, bring my granddaughter out here. Let her, let her, get, let her get some real, 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 real down home. Grown up, old school punishment. And she'll be right. No, he like, no, me and her mother, we got it. We we going to take care. We going to do this and that. I said, okay, because, you know, they parents now. You got to let them parent. They parent now. Call me. And the mama said every chance she gets, she's sneaking off, doing doing things she got no business doing. Came in, 14 years old, same age as twins. Come in, got hickeys all on the neck and all on the boobs and stuff. Her mama crying like a baby. The, the, my son whining like a baby. You, uh, that, wh wh what should I do? What I'm going? You know what I told him? I said, go take her ass and get some birth control pills. That's what I told him. I didn't say put on a punishment. I didn't say beat her ass. I said, go take her right now and get some birth control. Because you can't stop it. If she, you, what's whooping the ass going to do? Can, can anybody tell me that? If your child, you found out your child today, your daughter, 13 years old, 14 years old, having sex right now, you beating the hell out of them. What is that going to do? What's that, what is that going to do? Because when you're, thank you, Infinity Blue, make it worse. Make it worse. Again, I must say, the best thing any parent can do is to keep their child safe. 
That's the best thing you can do. The only thing you can do is to keep them safe. Go get a little fast ass some birth control. Don't tell her you don't have sex because she going to have sex anyway. And she going to have it even more because you told her not to. Go get her fixed and then get her some condoms. If you got a son, go get his ass some condoms. And tell him to protect himself so his little dick don't fall off if the girl is sleeping around with a whole bunch of people. That's what you do. Right. They're going to do it. So get them prepared to be safe. That's what I'm saying. NJ Candy Girl said, I'm a new subscriber and I'm a mother and I respect your realness and you're gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, NJ Candy Girl. Thank you, love. Kiki said, yep, expect. Exactly. Listen, let say, queen got to go. Always enjoy you all. All right, listen, Linda. See you later, love. Get her checked out. For you. Y'all know I don't answer strange numbers. If you're calling me from a strange number, you're calling the wrong person. If it's important, I suggest you leave a message and I shall get back to you. Because if it ain't, I don't answer numbers that I don't know. I just don't. Too too much doxing, too much crazy people out here doing crazy stuff. If you really want to talk to Miss Gina and it's really, really important, leave me a message. I get back to you. Other than that, it ain't that important. <laughs> And ain't none of and, and ain't it, nobody is more important than my kids, and ain't none of their numbers blocked. Hey, Miss Lady. Hey, Miss Lady 41. How you doing, love? Mwah. I'm looking, I'm looking at the screen right here, and I'm looking, and I'm looking over here too. I'm in my room, y'all. I'm in, ooh, I like the red hearts. You know, I love the red hearts. I like the red hearts. I'm in my room. I told you because I'm getting all the stuff together um for the t-shirts. And then I got to get, I don't know if y'all could see. Can y'all see? See my red area over there? Y'all see it? Can you see it? See the red? That's what we do in court. See the whole red area? Don't look at my bathroom, y'all. Don't. I got to clean it up over there. And then that's my bed down there on the floor. <laughs> yes, y'all. Look, I told Miss Gina's real. I Y'all know I'm real. Ain't no shame in my game. I had a twin mattress that was on the floor remember i used to sleep on and my bed is still on the floor but guess what i ain't got the twin mattress no more that one's in my son's room so now the twins got they separate ones and thank you grown folks relationship she said miss jenny your house looks so clean and now i got a king i got a we had a hard time trying to get the king size bed we got a king size bed up um up here and all the kids be in here on the floor and i um and my kids keep saying, Mom, you want us to put the frame on it? In the and I like it on the floor because with my back problems and everything, it's a pillow top mattress, honey. I love it right there on the floor. And then I put my little thing on. I put my light and my little stand right there. Honey, I love it. Cleaning. Yes, honey. Cleaning. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I don't like no. I don't like filth. Mm mm. Why you call it nosy, Miss Gina? You were doing your job as a real mother. Thank you, Hudson. The only reason I say nosy because the kids, you know how the kids, my, you in my room. Why you was in my room being nosy? So that's why I call it nosy because the kids always say she was it. And then my kids, this is what my children always do. I don't know if some of you all do that that have more than one siblings. Of course, my children got siblings that's way older than them. And some of them are like my older children, younger siblings could be their children. OK, so like I told y'all, Angel has Angel has a niece that's older than her. So you see what I'm saying? Angel could be my son's daughter. And uh, so they would talk to each other and they'd be like, Was, did she go in your room? Was she... What was she looking for? Did she? And I be hearing them just like now. I hit them in the um thing out there now. But when they when I'm mad, when I come in the house and I'm mad, and I'm cursing everybody out because the boys didn't take the garbage out or they didn't do X, Y, and Z. And they be in the hallway talking, saying, "She mad? Did she have a good day at work? What happened at work? Oh, why she going? Oh, did she go off? I be here, y'all. I be in here dying." I be in here dying, laughing, going, and I be like, "What you talk? Didn't I tell you to clean?" I scare them even more. But they be, yeah. My my older ones would always be saying, "She was nosy. What was she looking for? Did she find anything?" 
Like, yeah, mm -hmm, y'all think y'all slick. Um, because of Spilly Boy, I came here. I have not been disappointed. Subscribe. Thank you, Hudson. Thank you. I appreciate it. Denise said, love and respect. God bless you. Yes, you are a true earth mother. Love and light. Good energy to you. Mwah. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate you. Thank you, all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. I feel, I oh, my bell. Y'all gonna, let me explain. If you ask me to ring the bell, ring my bell. That is my bell to show if you need a hug, a kiss, if you just need some attention. Because we know a lot of people don't get no attention. They don't get no love and affection. So sometimes y'all will see the queendom say, Miss Gina, ring the bell. Or somebody say, I need a hug. Can you ring the bell? I need a kiss. Can you ring the bell? So around here, we that's how we show love and everything. So if you ask me to ring the bell, I'm going to hug you. Kiss up on you, and I'm gonna just love you and shower you with all the attention I can shower you with. Cause some of us don't get that. Gina is not lying. I have to call her two or three times before she pick up lovely, <laughs> lovely love. I tell you, instead of giving me a dollar for my birthday, look at my channel if you like it, subscribe, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Queendom. Oh yes, cause you know, lovely trying to get this is lovely second channel. Lovely love fifty. This is her second channel, so she wants to um, she she wants to get it back up. Uh, same thing, lovely, that I asked eight, eight minutes ago. Laugh out loud, that I... What you asked eight minutes ago, Kiki? Because I must have missed it, if you was talking to me. Tracy say, ring the bell. Does your older kids try to put the younger on game about how to get away with some things? You know what, TC? No. What they do is they now tell them they should listen to me and they should stay at home and live at home for free as young, as long as they can. So what they do try, and then they all, and they tell them, they say, well, we went all through it. We all had to go through it. So they'll tell them if mommy get on your nerve or whatever, call us. Cause they all have their own places. So they, they'll tell my kid, my younger ones to call them to give them a break and stuff like that. But no, they really don't tell them to get away. They tell them if I was you, I'd stay home and let mama take care of me as long as I can. Because now that they see how things are, and they correct them and tell them, you ain't got no, when they say my friends, they say, mm -mm, you ain't got no friends. Mama, your friend. When mama say she your friend, mama, your friend. CC come here all the time and say, my best friend and my everything is my mother. It's because she, she finally saw it. Ain't, you can't trust nobody out here. You ain't got no people out here. So the one thing that I can say is my, my the older ones keep it real with the younger ones. That's a great question, TC. Liz said, hey, Miss Gina, please ring the bell. Lovely say, I need your bedroom. <laughs> your bedroom is my whole apartment real talk. Look, lovely. Between you and me, but I ain't going to tell nobody. A whole, a, a couple of other people's apartment can fit inside my bedroom too. <laughs> but we ain't going to tell her that. Ring the bell. I just left my toxic job and I'm waiting for my next opportunity. All right. Woo! Go ring the bell, honey. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Them blessings. We showering you with them blessings, honey. That job's going to come. You already got it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, honey, I'm giving it to you. Kiki say, ring that bell, I ask. I'm ringing the bell for everybody. Welcome, everybody. If it's your first time, thank y'all for coming over from Spilly Boy TV. So come on in and enjoy the chat. We try to keep it positive over here. Yes. Yes, we do. TC say, love it. That's awesome. I'm glad you, I'm glad Spiller Boy sent y'all over here. Thank you. See that? You come from there and people comes over here and everything else. If somebody genuinely, you know, they care about you and you good to them, they, they definitely, they going to be good to you. And that's just, that's how it is. And that's how it's supposed to be. And that's how I look at it. I'm, I want everybody to be in a good mood. I want everybody to live their best life. I want every, if you going through something, that's why we have, we didn't do it last Sunday because of my car accident and stuff, but on Sundays, for those of you that don't know, we do Q and A. 
Q&A is questions and answers. That means that if you have any question, if you got a relationship problem, if you got something that's bothering you or you're going through something, you can email me, you can ask it online or whatever, and we're going to talk about it. Just like I talked about my kids saying I've been nosy and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> subscribe to you and lovely thank you miss never again thank you thank you thank you oh all y'all just coming over here i thank you spill it boy spill it boy sit there thank you spill it boy i'm so glad that y'all came over here miss gina can you do call in on sunday too yes tropical punch i'm gonna do call in on sunday i make no yeah but you know what i'm gonna do it you know tomorrow you want to hear tropical tomorrow is court Tomorrow is, we have been court, Queendom Court is tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing call-ins tomorrow. I'm going to do call-ins tomorrow too. Because um, we got, I, I got a, my bailiff on here. So uh, who was that that said they're going to be my bailiff? Excuse me, I got my bailiff on here. And um, so you know, I gotta have, you know, my sidekick. So yeah, we're going to do, we're going to do call-ins tomorrow too for Queendom Court. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got one person on the docket. We going to put, I don't know. We probably put two, two or three, two or three on the docket. I haven't figured it out. I'm going to put two. I'm going to put, Um, it's going to at least be two or three, two to three people that I'm going to put on the docket for tomorrow. Rita Brown says, Spilly Boy, tuned me on to you. Peace, my sister. Thank you, Rita Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you twice. Thank you. That'll be nice tropical for her to do a call in on Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So get your questions and 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 whatever you even if you have an opinion about something, you can bring up your opinion. You can bring up your questions and all that stuff. We are gonna do it. I told you over here, just so the new people know. Over here, we don't my channel is not about celebrity news. My channel is not about other YouTubers. My channel is about everyday life. That's why you heard me talk about the scenarios with my son who got a girl pregnant out of high school. Um, you heard me talk about my daughters who I got protected before high school. Um, because we talk about real life. You know why? Because ain't too many content creators out there out here to talk about real life. Um, they, they're not going to say what goes on in a household, what goes on. They're going to, everybody always try to portray on here that they better than everybody else. They try to portray on here that they live in, in a big fancy house and everything is all gravy and it's not, I'll email you my questions. Yeah, Tracy, um, Tracy's world, email them to me and everybody else. Um, let me tell you something. People know what no shame in my game that I was homeless, that we was on the street. You know, that I was, I had to do whatever it is that I had to do. People knew that other folks, um, you know, that didn't like me in the YouTube sector uh, did what they did to prevent me from moving into that first apartment, but I never gave up. Um, it was the queendom that said, Miss Gina, go take care of your business. Do y'all remember that? It was the queendom that said, Miss Gina, Get off of here and go take care of your business. I was gone for two weeks. Do you hear me? I was gone for two weeks. Nobody didn't know where I was. Lovely to tell you, I wasn't answering no phone calls. I wasn't answering no messages. That's true. And it does not make you less than. Come on, Rita. I, I went and took care of what I had to take care of. I moved in to my place, our new apartment. Two weeks, we moved in before Christmas. When I moved, beautiful place, beautiful. Ooh, honey, that apartment was gorgeous. I just went, I didn't even tell them. I didn't even say, hey, I didn't put it in a title or nothing. One of the viewers said, Miss Gina, is this stainless steel I see behind you? And I just started smiling. And somebody else said, are you in your place? And I just started laughing and I said, yep. I said, y'all want a tour? 
Do y'all want a tour? And I gave them a tour of the whole department. When I say the penthouse was nice, because that's what I called it, the penthouse. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I'm back. I'm glad that y'all didn't leave. And um, I said, let me give y'all a tour. So I gave everybody a tour. Now, mind you, I ain't had no furniture. <laughs> we had no furniture. The only thing I had in the, in the apartment was our Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree was up and it was full of gifts and stuff. They couldn't find the haters. I'm going to tell y'all this story before I go and pick up Angel. The haters could not find nothing wrong. When I say that uh, that apartment, that little pen was nice, honey. I had y'all remember I had the gas fireplace, honey, washing dryer offset in the kitchen. The boys had their own room, bathroom. Me and Angel had the whole upstairs level. I vaulted ceilings, everything. Very nice. It was it was only two bedrooms, two baths. And um, you need to have a panel tomorrow, Gina, so I can get on. Girl, that's what we're going to probably do at court. We're going to probably do that at court. So you can come on. And um, so since they couldn't find anything to say negative about the apartment, because they couldn't say nothing about the apartment. Beautiful, honey, gorgeous. We had swimming pool. We had pool, games, every The best of the best this apartment was. Very nice. The only thing the haters had to say was to talk about the Christmas tree. They said, well, don't she need a car? If she need a car, why would she buy gifts to put up under the tree? Why she spend all her money? Nobody asked, was it donated? Was it blessed? The Christmas tree came from the leasing agent the leasing agent that le lease rented me the apartment, she gave the Christmas tree to my children because she wanted them to have a Christmas and we didn't have a Christmas tree. The gifts and everything, I got gift cards from everybody. My kids' school gave me gift cards. My job, the ladies that I work with, if y'all remember when my car went completely out, my boss started picking me up and she would pick me up every morning and they knew we were homeless. They gave us gift cards. Everybody, some of you guys had super chatted me, cashed out me. So many people were happy for me, genuinely happy. You know why? Because I bust my ass. Do you hear me to get that apartment? I did not ask YouTube, not one dollar to help us move in that apartment. I never, I didn't do a GoFundMe. I didn't do anything. And the GoFundMe that Shish Trish had did for us, I never asked her to do it. She did it out of her own. Couldn't even, all the money was returned. I never got one dollar. All of that money that Shish Trish did for the GoFundMe that she did, went every single cent of it went back to the people because it wasn't done right. And and I didn't want to be a part of no shady stuff. I, I told her, she said, well, I'm going to give the money back. I said, yeah, give it all back. And it all went back to everybody. Not one person paid or helped me or gave me a single dollar to move into that apartment. I bust my ass. And the only thing they had to talk about was the gifts that was under the tree for my children. You see how people hate? I just want to share that story with you to let you know that no matter how hard you work and no matter how hard what you do, there is going to be somebody that's going to have something negative to say. So just be you. Yeah, as a real mother, we sacrifice for our children. We do. We do. That's what we do. Well, anyway, y'all, I got to run out of here. I got to go pick Angel up from her practice. It just end. I love you guys. I love you more. We're going to start back doing our sign language thing, and we're going to start back doing our Spanish again. So until then, ta-ta for now. I love you. If nobody told you they love you today, y'all know Miss Gina, queen of talk. She loves you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Spill it, boy. Thank you for sending everybody over here. All my newbies. I love you too. Ta-ta for now, guys. Mwah.